Oh, Jane, the story of the day today is the wind, as you saw by the cricket, was causing some issues. And just take a look at the ocean. It's telling you everything you need to know because we've seen gale force gusts of winds today. Weather Watcher pictures sent in more akin to an autumn story, really, rather than a summer one with those strong gale force gusts whipping the seas into action. In actual fact, we've seen gusts of winds quite widely in excess of 60 miles an hour along the coast. But the strongest gust of wind that we found so far is in the Needles, the Isle of Wight, just over 70 miles an hour. It's all because of this low pressure that's anchored to the northwest of the UK, to the southern flank of the low. That's where we've got the strongest of the winds at the moment. Also got some rain and some of it quite persistent as it moves its way northwards into Scotland as we speak. It's leaving a trail of squally, blustery showers, some of them heavy with some thunder mixed in there as well for the remainder of the afternoon. There will be some sunny spells and some of you across central and southern parts of England may be escaping the worst of the showers, but the winds are the feet. Feature. Gusts of winds quite widely close to the coast, still in excess of 60 miles an hour this afternoon. So the Met Office have a, a weather warning out across England and Wales. Quite unusual, the strength of the winds for this time of year could cause some disruption. But if you get the sunshine, it's still pretty warm out there. Believe it or not, your thermometers will probably peak at around 24 degrees for you lucky ones. Now, for the rest of the evening and overnight, we keep some showers going. So there will be some clear spells, some sharper showers or longer spells of rain into North West Scotland and maybe Northern Ireland, a relatively mild night as we keep those temperatures around 11 to 15 degrees. So tomorrow the low is drifting off into Scandinavia. This little weather front enhances some rain into the north and the ice of ours open up just a touch. So the winds will slowly start to ease as we go through the weekend. Rain through Scotland, Northern Ireland will gradually drift into northwest England and Wales. Again, it's going to be a blustery story, but the wind's gusting perhaps just to around 30, 35 as a maximum wind gust through the afternoon. Top temperatures of 22 degrees, a little bit fresher, noticeably fresher in Scotland as the wind direction changing coming in off the North Sea. Now on Sunday, Scotland should be a better day, drier, settled with more sunshine and eventually Northern Ireland as the showers continue to push their way steadily south. As for next week, well, if you don't want to know, I would look away just like they say on the football results because it doesn't make for great reading, I'm afraid. Those temperatures are a little disappointing. And yes, there's further showers or longer spells of rain to come. Where's summer gone, Jane?